What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about how to build a minimalist shoe collection. How many pairs of shoes do you really need? Is it 10, five, two? Well, it really depends on the person, your situation, and your needs, but I think that most guys can get away with just three pairs of shoes, and we're gonna talk about how to build that minimal collection and look at some example collections. Now, I think if you wanna be a minimalist when it comes to your fashion, uh, shoes are pretty easy compared to like shirts, for example. Uh, but that said, I personally have a hard time maintaining a minimal shoe collection. I just like shoes a lot. I like having options. It's important to keep in mind minimalism is not necessarily a virtue. It's definitely not a competition, but it can be helpful for some people. So if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're interested in having a more minimalist wardrobe and hopefully this will help. So if I had to get rid of all of my shoes except for just three pairs, it would be a dark brown Oxford, uh, a medium brown ankle boot or chukka, and a plain white leather sneaker. Now, of course, I'm not talking about activity specific stuff like if you're a runner or if you lift weights or if you're a ballet dancer, you're gonna need shoes for those activities. I'm talking about just your regular life, like hanging out, going to work, going to school, and that sort of thing. And those three shoes, the dressy lace-up, the casual boot, and the sneaker, that covers pretty much everything. Of course, if you're into the more monochromatic aesthetic, you could have this same collection just with different colors. So for example, a black Oxford, a gray suede Chelsea boot or chukka, and then the plain white sneaker again, or you could go with a gray or black leather sneaker instead. Now you might be thinking, well, I never wear boots or I never wear sneakers, and that's fine. You can just insert a different type of shoe into that slot, and we'll talk about all that in just a minute. So let's talk about actually building the minimal shoe collection. Now, it really depends on who you are. You know, if you're a college student who's into streetwear, that's totally different than if you're a business casual professional who's really preppy. So we're gonna approach this with sort of a choose your own adventure mentality, but we can talk about the types of shoes that are gonna make up your collection. So first, we have sneakers. Under the umbrella of sneakers, you have your minimal sneakers, your chunky sneakers, your trainers, your high tops, and then a whole array of kind of retro sneakers. After sneakers, we have a bunch of miscellaneous casual shoes that aren't sneakers, but they're still very casual. So for example, boat shoes, uh, blucher mocks, driving mocks, espadrilles, and any kind of sandal. The next shoe category is boots. So inside of boots, you have your work boots, your chukkas, your Chelsea boots, your mock toes, your brogues, and then your dressier boots. And then last but not least, we have our dress shoes, which of course don't have to be reserved just for dressier outfits, but you have your Oxfords, your bluchers or derbies, uh, your brogues and wingtips, your monk straps, and then your loafers. So if you look at these categories, if you were to pick one shoe from each category, you'd have a shoe collection that was ready for anything. But if you don't like a certain type of shoe, you can just skip a category or double down on a certain category that you really like. So using this mentality, this, this kind of method, let's look at three example collections uh, depending on your aesthetic. So number one, we have the basic bastard. So this is for guys who want a little bit of everything. Uh, it's not your sneaker heads, not your dandies. You know, this is kind of like your basic shoe collection. So for example, uh, we have an Oxford, a desert boot, uh, a work boot, a moccasin, maybe like a driving mock, and then a sneaker, either a plain sneaker or something like the Nike Kill Shot. So with this basic collection, that's everything. So you're never gonna wonder what shoe to wear. You're never gonna not have something to wear. So let's look at a different take on it. This is a preppy version of that same minimal five shoe collection. So if your mom dropped you and your friend Hunter off at lacrosse practice in an old Volvo, this collection is for you. So we have our Oxford, a loafer, a duck boot, a uh, blucher and suede, and then a boat shoe. So we've replaced the sneakers with boat shoes and mocks, along with some classic preppy staples like the duck boot and a suede buck. So this collection has you and your friend Hunter covered for those Connecticut winters and Cape Cod summers. And then our third and final example, again, same minimal collection, just five shoes. This is the Urban Warrior collection. So here's a slightly edgier, more contemporary take on the minimal shoe collection. And this collection is perfect for anybody that lives in a city or just likes a more monochromatic aesthetic or if you take the train to work. So we still have the Black Oxford. We have a sneaker, a Chelsea boot, 
a chunky sneaker, and then a sandal. So this collection is heavy on sneakers because it prioritizes comfort and it's slightly more casual. Since many young urban dwellers work in increasingly casual offices, this is a great shoe collection for them. And like I said, this is really like a choose your own adventure book, you know, using this idea of types of shoes and then picking from each category and of course just opting out of the categories that you don't like. And of course it also depends on where you live. Like if you live somewhere very hot, you're probably gonna want something open-toed like a sandal and a more low-cut like loafers, driving box and that sort of thing. Versus if you live somewhere with a serious winter, you're gonna wanna double down on the boots. So the choice is yours, you know, really think about your needs and I think that most guys can get away with three to five pairs of shoes uh, if not less. And of course, there's nothing wrong with having extras as long as you wear them, you know? I have way more shoes, not just three pairs, but I wear them all, you know? And if I find that a pair of shoes is just kind of sitting in my closet collecting dust, I either try to sell it or I just donate it or give it away. So think about your aesthetic, think about your day-to-day -day life and try to come up with a minimal collection that works for you. And remember, don't take it too seriously. We're just talking about shoes. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks, you know, do what you like. All right, so uh, links to everything that we talked about will be down below in the description, as well as the full article version of the Minimal Shoe Collection. Uh, if you have questions for me, let me know down in the comments. Thank you, as always, for watching, and until next time, stay stylish.